here's the big boy set we've been waiting for all right we're gonna start with the figures i'm not gonna cover the mongoose because it's exactly the same as the other mongoose so you can just go check out that and then the anti-air turret so let's get started here is the new grunt with the nice molds for the helmet it's this isn't a helmet like the unsc helmets or the grunt mask is actually just a whole head which is it looks nice but like if you can see my hands are shaking right there the eye I think the other one it looks it's a very hard like paint to hit and you can see they sort of missed kind of put a little too much so there's just that little complaint and right here that's not the glare it's actually white on the front of the mask which is a little weird but it doesn't bug me <laughs> there's been worse stuff though and the tank his fuel tank is just two pieces just comes up in half in the middle and when i first grabbed this grunt first thing is tank they will split in half and break so i just kind of squeeze it sometimes make sure it doesn't break so here's the new fuel tank this is how his armor comes off and right here there's like a little hole so you can easily put it on compared to the last one i kind of did hope that these come with paint so that they can have like lights like the original ones except more articulated so they can move better but this kind of confused me how there's two pieces because you see here like in the old grunts they had two pieces but then they upgraded it so it has three and i really do like this third piece it does look better than the other one i thought they're all going to be the same but nope they're actually different i mean besides that black that's on the visor that they did mess up a little bit but i'm not gonna pick on that too much so as you can see here, he is just like been grounded into the dirt, like probably just fell in it or just explosions everywhere, just dirting his armor. Cause the last one you can see here, looks like he's been shot a lot, battle worn and everything. This one's just dirty. His just boots are dirty. His helmet is just mud everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Even the back. So I'm. I didn't get the Warhog, but I'm thinking of getting it because I'm not sure. But it might include a different sort of Master Chief, maybe one with that doesn't look like he's been sh shitted all over. But it's at least different, so that way you just don't have several copies of Master Chief. At least some variety in different battle worn effects but besides that it's the same same black on the visors on the armor pieces and everything here is something interesting right here they did a lot of different things right here so first of all this is a female which i didn't think they'd be doing because the other two marines they're just bald and you can put a helmet on them but for her I thought the ponytail would block it, but the ponytail is just low enough so you can put the helmet on, no problem. And the other Marine that came before, the Ginger, I thought I, I kind of didn't like the hole on the head, but that's why they added the hole. So you can, looks just like her, just different tones of skin and hair. So that's that's good i thought there'd just be male marines and the females are just kind of have odst helmets but no so she got the same ponytail and everything she just doesn't have the same black eyeliner which is i'm, I'm fine with that's a little much here are shoulder pads seen them around several times on other spartans but now they're brown to match her armor got more bullets right there that don't really look like bullets they're not as detailed as other characters here's something else that's weird she has a frag grenade right here you can just put on because in the master chief versus brute warrior it came with two grenades and i said 
I didn't think they'd change it. But you can see right here, they made it smaller. So you can actually grab on to it with your hand. Not the top of the grenade, but the actual grenade. And there's like a hole so you can clip it onto the side. Here's just another ammo pouch. And you got T-pose in your hair. And the comm backpack, or communication backpack. It was actually my first one, never had one of these before. Nice thing to have. So there's the female marine of the set. Here's where things get really interesting. Here's the brute Hyperius, which I thought was the main villain of the story of Infinite, but his the main villain, I think his name is S. Charum, something like that. But this is Hyperius. So this is actually a different brute that we have not met before, which is most likely a warlord of some sort that probably follows S. Charum, unless S. Charum is not actually the main antagonist. He's just the bad guy in the beginning. But there is a lot of battles this guy has been in. You can tell in this armor piece. And we've got some different stuff going on for him. This helm this shoulder pad though it's really interesting to think about because if you look at it if you really look at it that looks like a blue visor and a helmet so what got me thinking was did he kill Locke and wear his helmet as a trophy on his shoulder like that that, that really does look like Locke's helmet just without the extra paint but obviously it'd get, be hard to paint a shoulder pad as detailed as Locke's helmet is but I do think that's Locke's helmet I mean maybe I don't know it, it's kind of cool to see a hunt uh, or just a brute hunting down the other guy like they just said oh they don't like Locke time to kill him off in the next Halo so that would be kind of funny just to see him kill off Locke because people didn't like him, but that does really look like Locke's helmet. Just gotta say that. And he has fingerless gloves. Here's his brute pack. You know, spiky, has to be spiky. He was made by a brute, so has to have lots of spikes. And here's something interesting. That's his helmet, by the way. But the brutes... Unlike the female marines, they can't actually have hair because their helmets wouldn't allow it to put on. So he just does look like a normal Craig under that helmet, like all the other brutes. But I do think this brute is a ginger. Because that's not a part of the helmet. That looks like it's supposed to be hair coming from the brute. But it's clearly not. But that's as a figure, though. If I'm thinking in the game, he can be... A I don't know, I've never seen a ginger brute. That sounds kind of funny, but I don't know. This full of surprises. So here's our cool teen with fingerless gloves, ginger hair, just this helmet. Oh, I love this helmet. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful right there. This angle right here. I definitely mostly got it just because of of Hyperius and the grunt and also the set which I completely forgot but it comes with a mongoose which I kind of feel dumb now because I bought a mongoose set and they're identical there's nothing different about them they're basically the same so for, there's no point of me really reviewing the mongoose I'm just gonna say the same thing as the last video so if you really want to know about this mongoose and how it drifts just watch the other video skip to just skip because I do everything in sections so here's the cool dude Hyperius oh, I really love his helmet even though he's a ginger brute <laughs> in case you guys want to see his back Kind of the same thing as all the other brutes as 
as um body armor goes just this shoulder pad is really selling it for me gets me curious damn what a brute what a beast here are the weapons this i thought this would look like tart or not tartus decimus's gravity hammer but as you can see his gravity hammer is more beige in the center and this one's kind of a brown so at least they you know they just changed this so it won't be completely identical so nice this is always just a really good gravity hammer to have i mean i just love if most of the gravity hammers were red right here in the blade that's just something really good just a plasma pistol with purple a black ar which you can take off this part and put a scope if you want just like the last one and here's you know the infamous rifle which this one is different it's more like metallic the other one was just gray and silver but this one as you can see it's kind of a little metallic right here it's sparkly then the blade is also a different color this definitely is different from the other one. It's not gray. So there's that if you guys are interested in collecting these. Here is the big main piece, the anti-air cannon. And this is a nice build, takes a while though. This is the day after, so. It got everything the Banish needs. Spikes everywhere, right here, the back, the Banish symbol. And this does go full 360. It's not too wobbly, so it's not as bad as the Gauss Hog from before. But this is pretty good. It's got like this tripod effect. If you lift it up, it just goes like that. So if you want, you can place it on other surfaces and it won't be crooked or wobbly so you don't have to put it on flat surface for it to look good you could just kind of put it everywhere and it works out pretty well you can shoot these if you guys want but i will lose them so i'm not even gonna bother it's got some nice bulk down here and it has some play value so you know maybe the more you shoot it you can break off the pieces you can do that for all three of these so maybe that'll be a mechanic in Halo Infinite. So instead of shooting under the anti-air cannon, like in Halo 3, you're gonna have to maybe shoot these battery looking things. And you can really just rip off a lot of the stuff from this set to show battle damage. You know, maybe it's exploding and you just rip off all the pieces and show just the husk of the, of the big thing. I'm just gonna leave this off for now, but yeah, this is nice thing if you guys want for the just for anti-air really. I don't really have that much UNSC ships, just the Kestrel and the Hornet. So I think I might just change this into the second option. But it took me a while to build this one, so I might just turn the other one into a second video and release this now so you guys can see it without any further delay. See if you guys want to buy this, buy the anti-air cannon, buy, or just buy it for this guy, Hyperius, which is a good enough reason, but it is a, a pretty much expensive set. It's $80 for what it has. And especially if... You're like me, you already bought the Mongoose set. You know, now you got another one. Or you can turn one of them into a Sparrow, but like I said, I'm just gonna turn it into a ship. Cause the pictures make me interested to see how they look. So I'll definitely do that, but in a while, not right now. This all just rotates right here by a little stick coming through the bottom good use of tools so here's that